when you forge a weapon, you need three things. The right metal, temperatures over 1400 degrees, and someone who wants to kill. Here in Jungle Village, we got all three. You know, you, you said that, you know, the martial arts have influenced all aspects of your life. You know, you're the little kid going into 42nd Street, seeing the yeah. double features. How long have you wanted to do this? So this, you know, the, the story itself and, and the imagination of doing this has been there ever since the tender age, man. And now to bring it to the rest of the world is a great joy for me and a great fulfillment. And, uh, and you know, the, I'm sure the audience is going to like this. And if, we have, and if we have commercial success with this thing, we're going to have fun really exposing this whole world to you. Because me and Eli put so much into this world. We, we, you know, we got so many pages of more about these characters that I know y'all guys would love this, to see. And, and, we, and, and if we hit success, we're going to give it all to you. You know, the fight scenes were amazing. Uh, it almost felt, and, and, and was it Riz's idea to kind of have them build upon each other? Actually, you know, Quentin was on set and he said that he was actually uh, intimidated <laughs> by some of the fight scenes that he saw. And, you know, Riza did a tremendous job and Corey Wen was there that created something spectacular. Now, when you got the script, uh, you know, it's so, there's so much going on. How does, I mean, what was your first impression of it when you got it? Actually, after I read it, I was like, you were in. So excited that I shook his hand, giving him that verbal <laughs> agreement, yes, I'm in. Because, like, before I left his office, he saw, you know, kind of like that handshake, you're in, right? You know, bronze line. I'm like, okay, I'm in. But once I read it, I'm like, yeah. This is awesome. So. When, I, when I read the script, I didn't get what this world was until I got to the set. Okay. Which is in Hong Dian Studio, partially <laughs> shot there. Okay. And it's, it's, I don't know if you know this, but it's, it has one-to-one -one replica of Tiananmen Square Forbidden Palace. No kidding. One-to-one, -one, right? So when I got there and we started shooting there, then I realized, oh my God, this is, this is like The Last Emperor, but just with Kung Fu. I'm going to assume that, Jamie, you're the, the more dangerous of the two here. Oh, I absolutely Absolutely. Am. You know, the action sequences are great. I mean, everyone in the movie's flying around. Even, you know, Jamie, you even have your moments where you're kind of flying around uh, at, at the help of this guy yes, right I here. Yes, I know. It's like, not willingly, but you know, yes. Uh, how, how was, how was the, the, the wire work for you? I mean, you're a big guy. I can't imagine that was No, fun. it was cool. I didn't, you know, I wasn't on wires all that much, but, it, you know, it was, it was fine. You know, they dropped me once. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> well, I'm lucky you know, I kind of landed on my feet and, and fell down, but it was no big deal. I wouldn't want to be the dude that right. lets you down heavy. I right. wouldn't want to be the dude pulling the wire. <laughs> yeah, and, you know, Eli, you 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 you, cut, you have a background of blood, and I'm just curious. You know, the, a, a lot of the killings seemed very unique and and creative, and then obviously the blood splattering. I'm just you know, were you the guy behind that, or was well, this a collaboration? we always joke about, in the writing, when we were making the movie, we said, we're all victims of our own reputation. Anytime there's, you know, philosophy, they go, oh, that's Reza. Anytime there's a clever line of dialogue, they go, well, Quentin must have had a hand in that. And anytime there's gore, it's like, of course that was Eli. But the truth is, it was all of us expressing all sides. And having me writing with Reza gives me almost permission to express more mm. philosophical side. Mm. And then I remember with Russell, I was like, Russell, you can be as crazy as you want. No matter how violent you are, they're going to blame me. And that right. freed up Russell to go nuts. <laughs> Search 